guys! Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. It's a very cold and foggy day today here in the Pacific Northwest and so I have made some chili in the slow cooker. And the recipe for the chili is on our blog if you're interested in that. But I am going to be making biscuits this evening to go with our chili. It's a very easy recipe and you can use it any time of year. And they're kind of like a Cheddar Bay biscuit if you've ever been to Red Lobster and had their biscuits. It's very reminiscent of that, only of course there's some flour in it. So come along with me and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with a cup and a half of blanched almond flour. And I like the blanched because it helps, um, it doesn't have the shells in it. So when it's cooking, especially for things like biscuits, cookies, that kind of thing, you can tell the doneness a little bit better because it doesn't start off brown because it doesn't have the, the shells, or not the shells, but the peels inside of it. So to this, we need to add our other dry ingredients. So we need a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, and we need about almost a tablespoon of garlic powder. So it's going to be quite garlicky because these are going to be Cheddar Bay biscuits, so they're heavy on the garlic and the cheese, all the good stuff. I want a pinch of salt, so I'm adding a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. And that's our dry ingredients. And I'm just going to kind of mix this around with a fork so everything gets incorporated into the flour. So with all biscuits, next the step comes where you cut the cold butter in. And cutting is just an old-fashioned baking term for combining your fat into your dry ingredients. So I have about three tablespoons of cold butter. It's very cold. I just got it out of the refrigerator. And I've cut it into little chunks. Now I'm going to take my pastry blender and cut this in. You could use two forks, you could just use your fingers, whatever you like to do in order to combine your cold fat into your flour product. And this takes a little bit because of course we're starting out with very cold butter, which is what we want. Because even after we add our wet ingredients and we form this into a dough to make our biscuits, there's going to be little chunks of butter in your dough when you put your biscuits in the oven. And that is going to make the dough puff up inside the oven. And that's what we want with biscuits because we want them to be nice and fluffy. So with a pastry blender, you just kind of have to intermittently remove everything from it because the fat tends to stick to it. It will be the same with two forks and your fingers, of course. Sometimes I will use my fingers just simply because the heat of your body can sometimes help the butter blend into your dry ingredients. Okay, so now that we have our fat incorporated into our flour, our next step is we are going to add our liquids. And in order to do that, what's best is to create a well in your bowl so that you can combine your wet liquids and then slowly bring in your dry ingredients. So we're going to need one egg and I've brought mine to room temperature. Room temperature eggs seem to help when you're baking things. And then to that egg, I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of heavy cream, and I'm just going to eyeball this. 
And I'm going to take a fork and whisk this around so that it gets incorporated before we add it into our flour baking powder mixture. That way we have the egg and the cream all combined. So that's kind of the reason we make the nest in the center. So now we're going to bring our dry ingredients into our wet and just combine them. You don't want to overwork the dough. You just want to make sure that everything gets combined and starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl. Until it's just combined, and it is. And now we're going to add our cheese. So we want about a half a cup of cheese. And you can use any kind of cheese, but since these are mimicking Cheddar Bay biscuits, I'm going to be using sharp cheddar. So I'm going to put in about a half a cup and then combine that into our dough. And this is going to make about six medium-sized biscuits. You could make four giant biscuits, but I, I find that this makes just a nice even six if you just kind of keep them on the medium side. Okay, so our cheddar is combined into our dough. And now I'm going to get our pan. That means my oven is ready. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so I have my cookie sheet, and my cookie sheet is a, is a smaller baking sheet. It's a little bit smaller than 9 by 13 inch pan, and I have put a piece of parchment paper on here. Parchment paper is, is very important for getting a brown on the bottom product, but still being able to remove it from the baking sheet. So I'm going to take my dough and I'm going to do my best to eyeball six biscuits. And I'm just kind of rounding them with my hand. They don't have to be perfect because, you know, they're home style. And you can place them fairly far apart because we're only putting six on here, so. And you could make these even smaller if you wanted them to be smaller. Uh, if you had more people that you wanted to make biscuits for. You could absolutely do that. And we are going to bake these for about 20 minutes, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how large you've made your biscuits. This one, I think I'm going to borrow from this guy a little bit and make these two a bit larger. See the cold butter in there? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's what we want, little chunks of butter in there. It's going to make these biscuits puff up so beautifully. Okay, I think they look a little bit more even now. So that is a 350 degree oven and it's going to be cooking between 20 to 30 minutes depending on the size of your biscuit and your oven. Okay, here they are. And mine took about 20 minutes, even though they were on the pretty large side. So, it all depends on your oven. My oven's pretty new. So this is what they look like. You can tell they're nicely brown on the top and perfectly brown on the bottom. So, they're ready. And they smell delicious, nice and garlicky. Thanks for joining us tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the biscuits and that you will make them for your family. We really like them and we make them quite often because they're very easy and they're very tasty, especially when it gets cold outside. So we hope that you'll come back and see us again and consider subscribing. Also, um, remember to hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when we upload new content. We have new recipes every Sunday, and we also have keto conversations on Wednesdays, and that's where we get together and talk about different ketogenic topics and help support one another in this lifestyle. If you'd also like to follow us on social media, we're on Instagram and Facebook, and we post a lot of our teaser recipes there and pictures that help you know what we're making on Sundays. So that is CJ's Keto Kitchen on both um, social media platforms. And also, if you need any more recipes, ideas, macros, anything of that nature, that can always be found on our blog, and that is cjsketokitchen.com. So come on back and make more delicious food with us, and 